Hi YouTubers, it's Minister Quinitra and um, I want to talk about my consecration. It has been a long time and I have been walking with you guys since I haven't had an apartment, living with my mom. You have guys seen a lot since I've started YouTube and I wanted to share my life and hopefully, you know, I think I got my stuttering from my dad because he stuttered. He's dead now. Um, I have a stepdad and a real dad. Um, hopefully, out of every video from the first one I've made, when I've taken the, the faith to step out, um, the reason why it's taken so long for me in my life is because I've always felt unworthy. I've always felt, you know, I'm too much of in and out. You know, I always got distracted with guys. And it wasn't always sinful. It was just married to the wrong people, you know, hurrying and marrying so that I wouldn't burn. Um because I had a fornication problem and you know I would you know let life stress me out and I would smoke I would drink and I would be in and out and I would go long bouts of being good in God and you know I pray that my anointing you know I know that I have a strong anointing I know that people have said things in my life and you know now that I'm on the right track with God you know I pray and hope that my life of just being broken, you know, that I now share with you guys, uh, that you find hope because a lot of you guys, I believe God has, you know, drawn to, to subscribe is a special, is a special individual a group of people who are struggling they don't know about their relationship with God they just don't know they don't know and you know as I reflect back in my life and that's why you see me laughing sometimes I'm crying I'm upset I'm frustrated because I'm just like oh my god you know God has really been with me through the ups and downs even when I abandoned my relationship with him didn't trust him ignored him couldn't hold the line and other times well, I did hold the line of sex and was celibate for a long time and serving God and, you know, all of it is awesome. And, you know, the attacks and almost dying and, you know, um, the devil, uh, not the devil, God coming to me saying that if I go back into the world that I wouldn't make it. Um, this channel, I, I have been, um, I will dedicate myself to telling my life. I will dedicate myself because sometimes every day I feel so bad. I pray, I talk to God, he talks to me and it's beautiful. And everyone is looking for that. And there's no secret formula that people give these seminars and stuff like that. You know, I watch a lot of people. I watch TD Jakes down to people that I know in my neighborhoods. I look at their relationships with God. I do. And I'm just like you're in the presence of God. And it really discouraged me to a lot of points. You know, a lot of people say I should have been preaching already. There's a lot of things that I know I beat myself up under. And then there's times where I feel like I get a chokehold. I feel like someone, you know, is like weighing me down spiritually. Or I get down. I stop praying. I'm up and down. You know, that was not too long ago. And sometimes I think about heaven and hell too much. And I just think about my life and my children. And I'm like, God, I'm scared. You know, but at the same time, nevertheless, make me rapture ready. And God, I believe he put he has put me in the category of people who are having a hard time, who are struggling, who, you know, are in and out fornicating and, you know, pleasures, you know, finding pleasure in things instead of running to God in those times and staying strong. You know, I'm letting you know that I've been through a lot of it. I've been through all of it. Drugs, suicide, getting locked up on probation as a kid, stealing things, you know, snorting cocaine, you know, Quinitra. Minister Kunitra now has done it all. And um, I, I haven't really just had someone come out and attest. You know, I look at certain beautiful things and like other people that have dreams about other people and they can get confirmations that they're women and men of God. When you don't get that <clears throat> and, you know, you're just a woman of God and God is saying, daughter, step out in faith. Daughter, I love you. Daughter, I have you. I got you. It doesn't matter if you felt the first time I have you. You know, um, people have told me that my prayer life is very, very anointed. I've seen that happen no matter what goes on in my life. So you, you guys want to know what I do? What I do in my life is I go, God, everyone always says, and I've noticed that my prayer life is awesome. So this is what I pray. I pray to never go to hell. I pray that I'll never lose you. And now that I know you guys, I'm spreading my prayers over you guys, asking God to be with you guys. You know, I, I, I will be the first one to admit that I am the most 
jacked up person, imperfect, need God, need more of God every day. And you better believe that I am asking. So since, you know, this consecration, I have just been slaving every day, fighting, you know, eat them seldomly, doing really well, but not really congratulating myself on my consecration. I want to thank God because I've been doing really, really good. And my consecration is for my intellect of my mind for me to have a godly character. Read my word. Let God deliver me from demons. You know, speak to me when there's a clear vision. <clears throat> also other people who are, you know, in different places, job, whatever the case may be on the street. And when God wants me to come out and pray, I don't want to have anything, you know, before him, anything of a hindrance. And I just want to be... If I'm hearing God say, get on YouTube real fast, anything, you know, I, I, may, I have made myself available from becoming distracted by the world to deliver whatever God wants to say out of my mouth. There are times I get so overwhelmed about the end times and everything God showed me, things about demons and this and that. You know, there are times where a believer, we can go so much in you and then we get humble because we know how God is and we got to strive, do the Ten Commandments, shun Men and women, uh, uh, and men shun the women and, and, you know, stick in there. And this is my first time coming back in God. You know, I'm a person who believes in fitness, weight loss, whatever the case may be, you know, taking care of your time, you know, uh, being responsible, you know, for your character, self-control. You know, I believe in the apostolic. I believe in the five-fold ministry. I believe in speaking over yourself. And I had cancer. I got to the window. I opened it. And I said, cancer, leave my body right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I believe in speaking to my situation. You know, consecration for me. I thank God. Because it's really me back into obedience. It's giving me strength. It's saying that, you know, I have a love for God and now this is a lifelong thing that I want because I don't want to miss the mark. I say, God, I don't want to miss the uh, rapture. Make me rapture ready, Lord God. I'm praying. I'm concerned about the food system coming, uh, you know, that's coming up. And this consecration, I'm on this thing and I'm just grateful. It has, you know, dreams have been coming to me that I don't even remember. Dreams was coming a little bit before and I had to pray sometimes. And now that I'm on these things, they just come and they flow. And I want to thank God for every single last one of you guys. So I just want to pray, Lord God, I just pray for Ivan, Lord God, and JT, and <clears throat> David, and me, and Nia, and Leah. Lord God, bless us all, every subscriber that's coming in, and every subscriber that I already have. Lord God, we, we feel lost at times, even though we know you, Lord God. This world judges us, Lord God. I mean, for me, I'm going to be honest, you know, I think about it. Every time I release a video, I'm pretty sure all of my subscribers, Lord God, when we are in certain places and situations in life, we, we kind of feel like we have it together sometimes, and then we don't. And then if, if we feel like we do, then it's a family member or somebody who who needs you lord god and we stand in the gap we intervene and intercept intervene and intercept even in our lives father god lord god help us lord god lord god we are hungry for you lord god in the mighty name of jesus christ teach us your ways lord god we are all crying about having that plumb line relationship while the enemy comes and attacks lord god lord god give us uh the right words in the scriptures to warfare, Lord God. Send your angels and double the warfare that's coming against us, Lord God. Break every uh, spell. We thank you for breaking every spell in witchcraft, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for, for keeping us in your perfect peace and keeping us in Psalms 91, Lord God. And we speak Psalms 23, Lord God. And Lord God, for you know the plans that you have for us, Lord God, plans to prosper us, Lord God. For we know that Lord, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that we are right where you want us to be, that you're taking us from mercy and mercy to grace the grace. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God, Lord God. It's the highest praise, Lord God. We thank you for everything you've done. If you've never done anything else, we love you just for knowing who you are, Lord God. You are worthy of all glory and praise and let us not be undone. Finish the work in every subscriber. Hallelujah. Finish the work. Finish the work. Finish the work. Finish the work in me, Lord God. Let me not start a good work, Lord God. Let them not start a good work and then we fail, Lord God. You know where the enemy is. Cut that light on like a when you cut the light on in the kitchen, all the roaches scatter, Lord God. 
put blessings and words of, of, of the Holy Spirit in our mouths and the word of God. Wash our bodies and wash us from sin, Lord God. Forgive us and throw our sins afar from us as far as the east is from the west, Lord God. Forgive us, Lord God. Wash us, Lord God. Forgive us, Lord God. Help us to forgive our enemy. Help us not to be bitter, Lord God. Help us not to curse and not have life and death in our tongue. Help us not to have double bystander ways where we're unstable in all our ways, Lord God. Teach us the word of God. Impart into us the word of God. Impart into us the Holy Spirit. Cover us with the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, Lord God. We love you. Bless us to have a heart of flesh. Lord God, a heart of flesh to love and serve you, Lord God, to be a friend to you, Lord God. Lord God, to love you and honor you, Lord God, and to be loyal when you're not looking, Lord God, to even clean the public toilet when we get off of it. Hallelujah, Lord God, because you're watching. Bless us to know that you're omnipresent. Save every unsaved family member in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every single last one of them, Lord God. Send your angels and do your warfare. <coughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thank you that you're going to do it for every YouTube subscriber. I thank you, Lord God, that you're going to do it for me and for the ones coming into the channel and for the ones who just stopped by and take a peek. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God, in advance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Nevertheless, uh, not least, but last, Lord God, give us faith and keep us in faith mode. Hallelujah. Great faith and miracles, Lord God. Hallelujah. The plumb line and the, the forearm of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, Lord God. You said it. Whoever buys in you. We should have whatever we ask or think so that your Father may be glorified. Do it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen.